food for thought. We all know that. The, but why are we not walking away today and saying, I'm not going to be in marketing anymore. It's way too hard. I think there's a huge opportunity for us when it comes to employees and when it comes to advocacy. And it starts with driving experience. Let's talk about a few stats. So Hootsuite put this out. 4,000%. That is huge from a top brand. If your employees have, on average, 300 people on Facebook, 300 people on Twitter, and they're retweeting your content, there's a huge opportunity there. And it's clear that if people are actually advocates of your brand, it's increasing customer satisfaction. If you're a customer-centric organization, this is a huge influencer, having those smiling faces. And so the other really interesting fact that I came across was 72% of people, from a trust index perspective, they believe their friends and family, and when you think about it, that's logical, right? Over a celebrity endorsement, over a CEO, over any organization that's talking about themselves on their Twitter handle or through LinkedIn page. So this is really powerful stuff. And I think we're all here because we knew that, right? We're all like, yes, this is important. We need to talk about it. We need to figure this out. We need to work through engagement and advocacy. But what I really want to hone in on is only 13% of employees worldwide are actually engaged. That is a huge opportunity worldwide. And this is why I think marketing and HR need to become better friends. Because not only is that a problem for productivity, which we can put a really big dollar sign against, or attrition, but it's a huge opportunity to actually change your social reach, increase it, impact customer satisfaction, and then on our end, yeah, we need people engaged to actually do great work. But the more people you have engaged, the more people are going to be advocates for your brand. 